Will your greatest fears become reality? Oh, they're flashing, bitch! Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. Ow! These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. There's no way I'm jumping in there. There's no way. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Yes! Woo! Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous. Do not attempt these stunts anywhere, anytime. I'm very competitive. Um, I boxed all through college, but the main reason I'm here is just to have fun and see how I stack up against competition. I'm doing it for the money, but on the other side, there's always the mystery, the intrigue, the excitement of not knowing what's going to come next. I'm ready to go. Well, it's my destiny to win this money. I have a dream to open a vegetarian restaurant, so this would be a great uh, way to get the down payment for my uh, restaurant. My mom and dad didn't raise any cowards, you see. No cowards came off the west side of Chicago, and I'm here to prove that. I gotta represent, and I gotta represent properly. I never played sports in high school, so this is my chance to prove to myself and everyone else that I really can compete. I can't believe I'm here. I've never done anything like this. When I got selected, I was shocked, and now I wanna see what I can do. Well, you six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye and compete for $50,000. Now, to win the money, you're going to have to complete three extreme stunts. These stunts will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. Now, if you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you're eliminated from the game. If you attempt a stunt but fail to complete it, you're eliminated. But if you complete it and you succeed, you move on to the next round, and you're that much closer to $50,000. Now remember, this is a game, so some strategy comes into play. Feel free to play off each other's fears and mess with each other's minds. Gamesmanship is always welcome here. Well, let's move on to your first stunt. Sonia, uh, let's get 
you guys strapped in. Well, let's do it. Come on. What are the odds you jumping at? I'll see. What are the odds? Well, yeah. you know, when I was like in junior high, I was a long jumper, but that was like back in the day. So. Oh, really? Junior That's high, it. huh? Yeah, that what was like what, three, four years ago? That was like, no, no, many, many uh. years ago. <laughs> What's that yell? It was just to let it out. Just All right. To let it out. Talk to the camera. There you go. All right, get her up there. Up the ladder. All right, bye, Sonia. Good luck. All right, kids. Here we go. It's in motion. Now remember, they're going to get up to 40 miles an hour when the trucks hit 40. They're going to blow their horn, and when they blow their Your chin? Oh, you got a little bloody lip. Sorry. You okay? Okay. I thought I could fly, but I did. There was a lot on my mind. Okay, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna jump? How far? Oh my god, it's seven feet, and these things are running what? 40 miles an hour. How do I start with what foot? Am I weak with my left, my right? I got this thing on my back. I and the wind was it was just oh, I, I don't know. There was too much, too much to think about. Sonia, well, thank you very much for oh, coming along you. and playing. And we got to send you packing. <laughs> so we got to send you walking. I'm not going to walk all the way over there. Yeah, walk. No, I'm on myself. Bye, guys. I've never gone through anything like this or been through anything like this, and it was 100% worth it. You got the cash. I think I'm, oh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in the good running. I'm, I'm running good. All right, but Amanda's out, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna do a ballerina leap across that thing. Like a ballerina leap? What is a ballerina leap? Explain. You'll see. You'll see. No, please, just help it's me out. It's gonna be a full split, coasting for three seconds, and then a perfect landing. She can do whatever she wanna do. I'm still gonna be the only one left with the boys, okay? Wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at you. Uh -oh. Damn, that's gonna really suck when you bounce off the side of that truck. <laughs> What are you gonna do then? But I'm going out like a champ. All right. Oh, good. If I, I go out, to. I'm going out like a champ. Because I'm a it. champ regardless. Oh, you go, girl. You know what? Keep it coming. Oh, but anyway, are you a vegetarian, though? Yes. Really? You don't eat meat at all? No, no. That's why you can't jump. Right. That's what it is. You eat a steak. I get you a hamburger, you jump over that thing like it's nothing. No way. That's what it is. It's a lack of meat. No, it's not. I get plenty of meat. You know what? Animals that jump and leap and kill other animals all eat meat. They're also called animals. Yeah, well, you're not an animal. You're a talking monkey. No, I'm a wild, crazy Damn. woman. You're a wild, crazy woman? Oh, OK. Right, that's right. It's so probably. what possessed you to come and do a crazy thing like this? The money. Just yeah. for the 50 grand? <laughs> well, for 50 grand, I want to see the rest of the world. I want to ride right. a camel over there in Egypt. All right, Doug, let's get it moving, baby. What do you think? What are the odds? You confident? Pretty good. That you're going to fall? <laughs> <laughs> well, get up there, Doug. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. My bad. Michael, you're next. What do you think? Are you going to pull it off? 
I think it's a lot more difficult not having seen someone make it yet. And actually seeing somebody fail even makes it worse. That's what I'm gonna do. Dude, you're king of confidence right now. <clears throat> so what do you think of the odds of you walking away with the whole 50 grand? Very large. I want Michael to make it because in our test runs, we were neck and neck. If right. he pulls it off, it's you a very it. good chance that I'm it's pulling it. It's a lock, say. Right. You gotta say it's you know, a lock. You know, you saw it. Wait, it's you saw a little, it. I don't want to come off too right, 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 right now, because I'm next now. Right. So we got to pull right. back. No, <laughs> none of that pulling back. Oh, <laughs> guy. They're getting the party started. very different when you're up there. You have adrenaline pumping and you also have the wind blowing at you and, and you're also going 40 miles an hour. So that's this, all this stuff wasn't happening when I was practicing. I kind of just started psyching myself out and saying, don't think about it, don't think about it. So every time I had a negative thought or a scary thought, I just pushed it away and just said, come on, we can do this, we can do this. Pam, do you still think at the end of the day that you'll be the only woman left? Absolutely. Oh, hell no. Whoa, no, absolutely, no. With a big smile. Amanda, that's gotta suck. How do you feel about that? I feel all right, because I'm gonna prove her wrong. What do you think, Joe? You're I'm, pretty I'm pretty fired up, yeah. But Joe, you're a long jumper, dude. You yeah, must I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, have an advantage here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to Brand. take it back a bit so I don't jump over the truck. Hey, Amanda, what are you doing up there? You centering yourself? You thinking about flying? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta show people. I know. People at home are going, well, you know what? How come the guys can make it and the girls can't? You gotta show them. It's not every girl can make it. That's right. We're not all girl little can. girly girls. Oh, like Amanda, huh? Like Amanda's a little girly girl? <laughs> Amanda can forget about it, okay? She can she she's she's got no shot. Time. She's like this much off the mark. I know. You watch her practice? Look at her. Look at her. Watch her practice. Watch her practice. Amanda, show us a practice jump. That's a good, solid three feet. <laughs> Really impressive. Woo it's different up here. <laughs> what do you guys think? You guys think Pam's gonna pull it off? Yeah. If they can do this, at least try it. I know I'm good. And I'm standing there, I got on my gear, truck starts moving, feels kind of wobbly, but my mind is still psyched. I'm still like, I know I can do this. Here we go, we're almost there. I'm no coward. If you're scared, go to church. Chicken ain't nothing but a bird. You know what I'm saying? So let's do this. Look at Pam. Dude, she's got her game face on. Look at her, her position. Oh, yeah. Look at her stance. She knows she knows. She is ready to launch.
It was scary up there. Um, it wasn't scary. I was never afraid until I actually took off. I take my one, two, and I couldn't get my third step off, and that's when I, next thing I know, bam! And I lost my breath. I mean, I, it was just, I couldn't breathe. I was like, <gasps> Sam, I'm sorry. I had a good time. Nice plan. And Glad I did the best I could. All right, well, All right. take care. Thanks a lot. If I had the opportunity to do it again, I know I'd make it. You're confident, right? You're yeah, yeah, absolutely, All man. Six, I'm, I'm already six, thinking two. about tomorrow. All six, two of you ready to leap and bound. You already thinking about tomorrow? Yeah. You're done today, this right? In you the back, to, yeah. Well, you know the last person to be so cocky was Pam. <laughs> didn't work out so well for her. Everyone's been talking me up. I'm starting to feel the pressure. Now it's time to do it. Still in it? Does that count, dude? Oh, I thought I'd do better than that. I'm kind of stumbling in there, huh? All right, Joe, I got some news for you. You did not officially make it across because you did not land in one fluid motion, land on top of the other truck. You landed with one leg, and you had to assist yourself and pull yourself up. So technically, according to the rules, you did not make it across. One jump. Sorry, dude. I, I was playing it pretty cool. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to take it back a bit so I don't jump over the truck. We were doing uh, test jumps. I made it right over every time. I was a foot over. So I was thinking, yeah, it's in the bag. And then I just jumped and my, my foot kind of kind of slipped on the edge and fell down. And then I had to pull myself up. That's business, plan. man. That's business. Dude, you still look good. Yeah? yeah. Well, sorry, Joe. But thanks for playing the game. All right, man. Take care. Walk of shame, boys, walk of shame. It's been a long day. We're here, it's almost sunset, and Amanda, you are the last. And I know that I personally am rooting for you. Thank you, the best is yet to come. Are they rooting for you? You guys oh, rooting? Oh, I'm for yeah, you rooting for her. Of course. We're two players. I can do it. I can do it. I can totally can do, do it. it. It's my destiny. All right, well, let's get it going. OK, here we go, guys. It's our destiny, she says. Of course I want to make it. I want to show Pam and the others that I can do it. And uh, I really want to prove it to myself that I can do this. I can do it! I was glad I was last. The sun was setting. I kind of breathed. I did my yoga breathing. I got centered. And I just said, I got up there and I just said, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I just kept saying it louder and louder and louder. And then the horn blew. And then that's when I just jumped. Fear, baby. It's all about the fear. I'm ready to cry. It was so scary. Oh, it's the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, you just have to close your eyes and pray and say you can do it because it's so scary and it moved further away. When I started, I got a lot further. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh yeah, girls rule, girls rope. Girls power! Girl power! That much yeah. closer to 50 G's.
I'm going to do the best that I can, but I have no clue what they're going to throw in front of me. I like the other two contestants, but I don't feel that they want it as bad as I do. I think that it's my destiny. I guess, I don't know, I have a really good, strong feeling that I'll make it through today as well, because I just, this is what I want, because I really want to make it to the last round. Well, welcome to day two. Congratulations on making it this far. You guys successfully jumped two speeding semi-trucks. Let's see if you have what it takes to survive day number two. And we are here today in one of California's oldest mausoleums, surrounded by literally thousands of mummified corpses. Benny ever seen a dead body before? No. Nobody ever touched one? No? No? Well, if a human body is properly embalmed, it takes over a hundred years for it to decompose. But no matter how well the coffin is sealed, eventually it'll deteriorate, allowing worms and bugs to attack the body. For today's stunt, you are gonna lie covered up to your head, not in dirt. Oh my gosh. But in these worms, over 300,000 worms. They're gonna be covering you, every inch of your body, in between your toes, your legs, under your armpits. We're even gonna provide you guys with earplugs to keep them from crawling inside your head and laying eggs. But not only are you gonna have to lie in these worms, some of you may have to eat them. In this bowl are three pieces of paper with directions. One of the directions says you have to eat zero worms. One of them says you have to eat one worm. And one of them says you're going to have to eat five worms. Everyone has an equal shot at eating zero, one, or five. Now remember, you don't have to do this. You can back out right now, but you lose your chance of $50,000. If you lie in there, you have to lie in there covered with worms for four minutes. If at any point during the four minutes you can't take it, you can be removed, but again, you lose your chance of $50,000. When you eat the worms, you must completely eat, chew, and swallow the worm. If you do not, you lose your chance of $50,000. If you throw up the worms, you lose your chance at $50,000. How do you guys feel? Sick. Excited? <laughs> Man, how do you feel about this? Sick. What about eating one? Oh, I don't think I can. Yeah, you can do it for 50 grand. For your vegetarian restaurant? Yeah. Why are you crying? It sucks. It's worms. Are you all right? Yeah. You're losing it here. Yeah. Why are you so upset? I'm a vegetarian. Been there for 10 years. So that's what bothers you? The fact that you'd have to eat, worms. eat a worm? Yeah. Because you'd be killing the worm? No, just because it would make me throw up right away. and There's just no chance. All right. Doug, what do you think? Yeah. Are you going to go through with it? Uh, yeah, I guess yeah? so. I'll give it a shot. All right. Why don't you reach in there? Pull out a bit uh, of You know, they God. smell bad. I can Just do in. tough things, but I can't eat bugs. Do you hide the paper in there? It's in there, dude. Oh. Stay around. Oh. Jeez. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, Joe. Did I get some one here? <laughs> oh, yeah, they bite. You're sure there's paper in there? Yes. It's paper. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> there we go. Let's try not to get it on the floor. These are precious ones. <laughs> These are our friends. You guys are not going to like that. Cast members. What do you got? Whew. Why don't you just give me the five, but... What do you got? <sighs> what do you got? <laughs> Eat no worms, baby! Eat no worms! Now remember, you all have the opportunity to get this little piece of paper that says uh, eat no worms. Okay. Put that back in there. Well, let's get your clothes off and get you in there. All right, let's put your earplugs in. They're all God's creatures, right? That's right, all God's creatures. <laughs> Some of them are nastier than others. Yeah, and that's a whole bunch of them. Get in there. <sighs> all right. Can you hop in, lie down? <clears throat> Rest your head on that. <sighs> all right, let's bring in the worms. Oh, comfy. Don't worry, I'll time it. You're going to start as soon as they pour, brother. As soon as it touches you. Yeah. Okay, you got oh, four yeah. minutes. Really gross. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they feeling? bite immediately. Joyful. Mm. Ow. Mm. 
うんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん
All right, Michael, it's your turn to reach in. Grab a little piece of paper. This will dictate whether it's zero worms, oh, one worm, or five worms. So disgusting. Oh, I hope that's not something. Okay. Want me to get it? Yeah, I got it for her. I'll get it for you. If it's five, that would suck. Well, we'll find out shortly. Eat no worms. Oh, you lucky man. All right, All right. cool. I can do this. All right, bring in the worms. Oh, no. What's it like, Mike? Not good. Not good at all. Oh, man. Oh, oh this is so bad. Yeah, they do. They bite. They bite all right. They bite you? Oh, they bite. Yeah, they bite. How bad? Oh, man. This is disgusting. I can see how a body can just decompose in a short period yeah. of time. <laughs> you have two minutes to go. <clears throat> Doug, isn't it nice yeah, to see somebody else go through this? Oh, Isn't it nice? Who do you think's gonna walk away with it now? What do you think? Come on, 50 seconds. You think you're gonna win? Uh, think you're gonna walk away tomorrow with 50 grand? Yeah. Hell yeah, huh? Wait till you see what we have tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, you said you already told us you wouldn't eat five of them. Bite. That must be tasty or something. <laughs> they just they're loving me. 30 seconds. 30 more seconds to go. You're an appetizer. <laughs> 15 seconds? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I think it is. I think All it's right, wonderful. here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull him out. That's it. it. Time. Oh, no thanks. Oh, oh, no. No, I threw it. So, so wrong. Oh, look at the bright side. It's just you and Doug now. And then there was two. Which one of you guys thought Amanda was definitely gonna back out? I, I figured she would. I, yeah, me too. What if she didn't have to eat one? Um, I still don't think she would like. What if to you do had it. to eat one? I still don't think I would like to do it. <laughs> but you got through, got through, and we move on to tomorrow, where one of you will walk away with fifty thousand dollars. Let's do it. I've never given myself the opportunity to think that I'm not gonna win. So that's why I think I have a really, really good chance of winning. I realize I'm so close to winning right now, and it all comes down to today. So I'm hoping I have some luck on my side. Well, congratulations. You started out with six people, and two stunts later, we're down to only two. And you guys have survived jumping over a speeding semi-truck. You've been buried alive in worms, and now you've come to your final stunt. Well, the good news is, each of you have a 50-50 chance of walking away with 50 grand. The bad news is, only one of you can get the cash. Now, you ready to see your final stunt? You bet. Yeah. All right, come with me. All right, guys, welcome to your final stunt. We call this one the human catapult. You guys are gonna be attached to a stretch bungee cord. You're gonna be launched over 100 feet in the air. You're gonna pull three Gs while you do that. That's three times your body weight. Now here's how it works. While you're being launched, you're gonna be carrying a semi-automatic paintball gun. You're gonna shoot at that target, which is hanging over 80 feet in the air. And the one who hits the closest to the bullseye is the one who's gonna walk away with cash. Now, here's the catch. If one of you is shooting, the other one is gonna be the target. You're gonna be wearing a bullseye t-shirt and you're gonna be strapped to that target. You're gonna be hanging 80 <laughs> feet in the air and your opponent is gonna be shooting at you. Right on. Okay. Any questions? No. You guys can back out now, but if you do, you know, you're practically giving the $50,000 away to the other confederate. You wanna give me a yeah, You wanna back out? No. I could use it. Nope. No? Nope. Not doing it. All right. No. All right, let's get going. Right Come on, on, follow me. Do you go up straight, or are you kind of flopping all over the place? He's launched, dude, like a slingshot. Just think like a slingshot. Is everything 
feel good? Yeah. Snug, nice and snug? Yeah. Okay. Alright, now Doug, remember, you gotta think, man, this is it. It's between you and him for 50 G's. You gotta toughen up. Uh, you got any questions? I'll try. Alright, now I'm gonna ask you, are you ready? When you say yes, I'm gonna count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one, go. They're gonna release, you're gonna fire through. Ready? Alright, yeah. man, good luck. Thanks, brother. Remember, none of this Mr. Night Guy crap. Right? No more Mr. Nice Guy. Right on. There's the enemy with a big target right in his chest. Shoot at it, right? We will. Here's your gun. Keep your finger off the trigger right now. It's a hair trigger. Fire's nice and easy. Too right. Today all comes down to my strengths and Michael's strengths and my weaknesses versus his weaknesses and a whole lot of luck. All right, Doug, you ready? Okay, here we go in five, four, three, two, one, go! Did you have a good time there? Yeah, you nailed him right in the shoulder. See it? Yeah. Not bad. So I'll take Considering that one, you're I flying through the air at 50 miles an hour. Yeah, that was the thrill, man. That's pretty wild. Look at it. That's pretty close, dude. Look at that. You nailed the shoulder. Well, I'm happy with that. How did it get in hit feel? Not good at all. Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt. Does it sting? It stung for a second, but I feel it right now. Anyway, that's gonna be hard to beat. Okay, it's 13 and three quarter inches from the center point. My chip seems to be slipping at the moment, but I'm gonna have to reach with everything I have and pull it back into existence. It's Michael's turn at revenge. Let's that's get him right. unstrapped here. That's right. Thirteen and three quarter inches, that's what you gotta be. I'm gonna do my best. You think you can do it? I'm gonna do my best. You zoned? I'm zoned. You locked in? I'm locked in. Ding, 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 ding. You got it. You ready? I'm going for it, definitely. All right, dude. All right now, Michael, remember, this is your destiny. This is it, it's in your hands. Look at him right there. That is your target, my friend. All you have to do is get past 13 and 3 quarter inches. You get inside of that, and you're the man. You walk away with $50,000. Good luck. Very close, my man. Good shot. You see it right here on the strap? This is like down to the wire. He got you right here. Wow, that's about as close as you can get. Look at you right here. He got you here. You got him here. This is going to be down to the wire. We're going to have to bust out the measuring tape on that one. Wow. Excellent job, my man. Look at that. Except you nailed him twice. Doug, if you win, I shot you twice at least. That makes me feel good. <laughs> All right, they're first going to measure the furthest one, and then they're going to do the one from the shoulder. First one's one foot, three and a half inches. Fifteen and a half inches for the first one. Very close.
100 miles an hour. I knew I could do it. Three days. <laughs> yes. All right, man. Well, congratulations. Oh. That's fantastic. Oh. I'm glad you're psyched. Congratulations. I'm so psyched. Good job. This is, this and it was down day. the wire. This is the best day. Well, congratulations, so Michael. And evidently, fear was not a factor for you. I did it. <laughs> yeah.